wait, we'll start this video out with this giveaway item. I picked this in this video in an antique store. It's a real old round bottom bottle Dublin and Belfast. It's embossed up in here with the company. And look at that big drippy applied lip on this thing. And the condition's great. It's a beautiful bottle. All you have to do to, to win it is comment on this video. And if you want to subscribe, that's up to you. I don't want you subscribing if you're never going to watch my videos. But I'm giving it away to one lucky commenter and it'll be randomly picked. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the items in the antique store. And you have a chance of winning this. I always give back if you watch my videos. This is awesome. I love it. Later. Downtown Wheeling. I'm around Wheeling Market. They have Coleman's Fish and all that stuff up here. You can see there's the market. And we're going to hit some antique stores and stuff here. This is a really nice community here. And here's art antiques on the market right here. And there's other stores here. But look at this beauty. This is downtown Wheeling, Market Street. Look at this place. It's a big eatery there. It's looking up the street. It's kind of an artsy type town down in It's real nice. Look at this stuff in this store, folks. There you can see my reflection. I'll give you a shot of my 30 inch pythons. <laughs> Later, I'll get back in here. Look at all this stuff. Old reliable coffee, look at that old trade card. There's an old coffee grinder, look at this stuff. Very cool. I like these old paper items. Let's see. Well, I'll get back in there and look. Still coming over here. Look at this. Look at all this cool stuff. All right. Cola cooler. I've never seen that one. Scranton, Pennsylvania. All right. I'll get back in the store. I got to ask him. You always want to ask these people if you can film, too. Might not be allowed, but I, I'd say I will. Here's where I'm at. And they told me I could film. And I'm telling you, folks, this is the nicest antique store I've been in. Just I'm in the first area, and they said they have an elevator. Look at the ceilings. The old tin ceilings. This place is loaded. I know a lot of you are going to want to come here. Here's the information right here. I'll get back on the interesting stuff. Folks, this store is just amazing. Beautiful building. Look at all of this stuff. There's just so much stuff I could look at here in this bottom that I could make 20 videos here. Look at that. Brownie Hawkeye. I'll get back on the... I'll have to just do the real interesting stuff here. Look at all of this. Good prices, too. Look at, look at that old bottle right there. I'm sorry. Wow. Here's like... I, I think this is like they have multiple dealers here, so... But look at all these old pocket watches. Absolutely amazing. Old coins. That's a pretty nice looking clock right there, too. Look at all these ones. There's a cuckoo clock. There's an old advertising thermometer. White's Watch and Clock Service, Wheeling, West Virginia. Maybe that's the guy that has this little store here. But look at some of these clocks. Look at this one. That's pretty nice. Once Mr. Chime. That's not as old as some of these other ones. But man, this is nice stuff. Here's bottles. There's bottles all over the place here. And every one I've seen has been affordably priced. Um, I'll look for, well, let's see. These are mostly, there's some old ones mixed in there, but. He's got a few jars. I'll try to look for vintage marbles too. Pace cards. There's just so much to look at here, folks. I'll have to cut the clips down and I'll show you the nicest stuff later. There's a pretty cool tin there from Wheeling. Open kettle rendered pure lard. Weimer packing Wheeling. I've never seen that. It's only 20 bucks. Ooh, what's this? Oh, 
that's it. I've never seen this. $12. Man, that's a nice buy. Pittsburgh Brewing Company, and I've never seen that one. It's blown in a mold. That's nice for $12. Man, this is the nicest antique store I've been in. Even the ones in Marietta, this is nicer. Dr. Fairhay and Sons, that's an older one. See, there's lots of bottles in this store. Right up my alley. Some insulators and stuff. There's some morals. These are probably new by looking at them, but they're still collectible. Lots of people buy modern marbles. I'll turn, well, look here. Ooh. There's some plastic horses. See if they have, I'm gonna look for Indian figures. I'm kind of getting into them, some of the metal ones. Man, there's lots of stuff here. There's another wheeling bottle with the label on it, but that's 1993. Look here, Sanford Zinc with the original label on it. That's pretty cool. That Sunoco household wheel can there is nice too for $22. Huh. There's a Steelers. That's a pretty cool can. That's pretty cool. The candy container with the original candy in it. A bunny. You don't see that too often. That's nice. There's some cool stuff here. What the heck is that? Yeah, that's got to be. That's, yeah, new. I thought that was a hutch for a second. Look here. This is Belair Brewing Company, Belair High, $10. It's blown too. That's a beautiful bottle. The, the prices on the bottles here are just excellent. You want some bottles, this is a good place to come. Look at there, baby head milk, $20. Brookfield, baby top, with faces on both sides. Oh wow, that's nice. Look at that. Very cool. Look at all this. There's there's a United Dairy Wheeling. All right, look at this. Cloverdale Dairy, 12 bucks. That's an excellent deal. And I haven't found that one. That's a variation. Holy smokes. Mountain Valley Mineral Water. Huh. This guy has some nice stuff or girl, whoever. Some of these bottles are pretty nice. Zemo, Cleveland, Ohio. Never seen that either. City Brewing, Steubenville, Ohio. $8. I've never seen that bottle. Slug plated, blown. There's Steubenville, Ohio. I've not seen that either. All right. Man, this is, I'm going to be coming here a lot, folks. I recommend stopping at this place if you like my channel. Look here, the old Marsh Wheeling cigar boxes. Place is famous for the cigars. Look at these nice signs. I could stay in here for a month. They have vintage clothing. Vintage clothing is good to get into if you're selling on the internet. With real good pictures and find nice vintage clothing, you can make a whole bunch of money. Look here, I found a hundred of them. There's one of these diet rate colas. I found one of the, a bunch of them too on my channel. All right, I'm gonna just film some interesting stuff. I could just get nuts in here all day. Nuts. Later. This bottle's got some damage, but this is a Bolera Ohio bottle. It says Sanitary Bottling Works Bolera Ohio. I've never seen that either. Four dollars. It's got a ding there, though. Man, there is lots of stuff here. I'll get back. I want to show you that bottle. Let's look here. That looks like Eisenhower right there. 
Yeah, it is Eisenhower. These are the Mark's presidents. Mark's presidents. So I found some of them in a dump. Later. Show all the stuff here that I like. This is very cool. Look at this. These old bottles, this is $12 with the paper labels on it. If I was selling on eBay, I'd buy this and put it on there 20, like $24, buy it now. The ones with the paper labels are, all, some of them go for huge amounts of money and that's blown with the original label for $12. That'd be a good one for an eBay store. I just haven't got back into wanting to do that again. I will. I'm going to look for some Mark's toys and stuff. My mom's going to try to find something to get for her house. We need to buy something off these people because they let us film. We always try to go that route and try to encourage people. Man, that's cool. That's a good, I loved that movie when I was a kid. Yeah, these are pretty nice. We got some cool military stuff here, that's for sure. Army patches, free for kids. Wow. Wow, I really like these. These old Indian dolls. What do you think about that? They have little moccasins. That's, these are old. These are 1960s or before, I can tell by looking at them. Look how cool. Later. Man, I tell you what, this store is amazing. Look at all the old metal toys. The U.S. Army truck. The Tom Corbett lunchbox. Look at this stuff. This is just... Wow. There's another one of these little Indian dolls back there. I love them things. Look at the old cars. I'll try to go slow. There's some metal figures. It's too bad. Well, there's cowboys. And they're not that expensive, six or seven dollars. I might have to get that one cowboy there. That's pretty cool. Looks like maybe a Mountie or something there. There's a flagger for like, I don't know, probably planes in World War II. I could stay in here all day, folks. Huh. Look at that little pocket knife. $10 in the original box with an Indian on it. On the box, that's cool. Look at that little mouse. This stuff is amazing. There's just, every display is real high end. Look here, coming up on this stuff, trains. I know a lot of you have asked if I saw trains. Well, here they are. Lionel, there's stuff in the original boxes. And you saw the number, if you want some of this stuff, call them. I'll talk to them before I leave and ask them if they do any shipping, if somebody sees stuff that they want. Look at that train car there. That's very cool, with the box. You see, there's lots of seasonal stuff. Look at here, Stratford Springs, here's Stoneware. There's a bunch of old beers. These guys at Crick Diggers. We're up here in this town digging on, oh, look at this, vintage Halloween. There's some vintage stuff in here. And it's v vintage Halloween is huge on the internet when you're selling this stuff. A beautiful cabinet here. Some really nice, I like this oriental theme stuff. Wow, that stuff's beautiful. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's nice. Wow. That's some car-related stuff here. Look at these little shoes for sewing needles and stuff. That looks silver, that little pen with a bicycle on it. Huh. That looks old as heck, too. Early bicycle stuff's really popular. <laughs> Oil cans. Wow, this place is amazing. That's cool. Huh. And look at this little mini bucket. Huh.
we were up here today. I had to take my mom for like her yearly checkup or something at Wheeling Hospital. I was sat in the car and watched YouTube videos and thought we'd come down here and I'm surely glad that we did. This is wow. I'll get, I'm gonna turn this off and I'll get back on the real interesting stuff and they'll pro I'll probably buy something for a giveaway. Later. See, this place has a high-end stuff, like high-end bottles. Like if I dug this bottle right here, I would never sell it, wouldn't even consider it. It says W.L. Rose and Company, Wheeling, West Virginia. It's 135, but that has to be extremely rare. That's very nice. And look here. Torpedo soda. I don't think it's embossed though, but it's still very cool. And look here. Look here. And they're priced well. Three ninety five on this one is flawless. One sixty five on this. That's the beautiful croc. There's one. Two forty five. Henry McKenna. Kentucky whiskey. That's pretty nice. Twenty four dollars. That's not as old, but still very nice. I've seen this bank in another antique store. 145. This one's pristine, original condition. See the whole, it's metal. That's beautiful. I like these too. See, lots of cool stuff. This is nice. Patented December 21st, 1915. 250. It's Red Wing, look, it's perfect. United States Biscuit Co. There's more stainware down here. Look at this big one, wow. See some of the pretty, 225. I'm not sure how old this one is. I'd say it's still got some age to it. Tri-State Historical Club, East Liverpool. ES and V. There's an old Quaker. I've, I'm serious, I've dug a thousand of these. Let's see how much, I bet you it's eight dollars. Fifteen, wow. They're kind of cool bottles. See, it has a Quaker head on it. But I have so many of them. Heck, Doug has a hundred of them that I dug. I just gave them to him. Man, I don't even, they're still in upstairs. And I could look around down here all day. Here's a thing of marbles, let's see. I know these look, jar of assorted marbles. And see, there's marble kings in here. And some of them are older, but some of them, see, there's a bumblebee, but there's like a, a newer, like, there's a mixture. There's a few nice ones in here. There's a few nice ones. They were probably worth that, but I, I want to buy a jar of all old ones to give away. See, every place you look, bottles, mason jars, license plates, everything I'm into. All right, I'll, I'll get back on the real interesting things. I got to watch how much I record, because. All right, I'll get back. I think my mom's going to buy these old pictures for her house. You saw her house in one of my last videos. These are very nice. She's gonna put them on the wall, I think. They're $45, that'd be a nice addition to her house. We'll see if she finds anything else too. I'm gonna buy these up there. Yeah. That's cool, that cool over there. Yeah, exactly. Later. Right, right inside the door here, right where the women check you out. They have marbles down here on the bottom. Not all the marbles in the jars are vintage, but the majority of them are. And there's some, they're for, this is $40, you know, but there's some nice swirls and stuff in here. If you're looking for some marbles, there's some decent ones in here. See, there's a blue and red swirl there. These are $20. See, there's some, you can't really see them, but there's vintage, see, there's a swirl. And I saw, where's this jar? This jar looked like it had some nice ones in it, but it's 40 bucks, but that's a pretty big jar. Look at some of these swirls down in here. If you're looking for marbles, see, look at these big ones. Look at that big swirl right there. That's nice. 
look at some of these and they still have more jars you could call and maybe they'll ship you all these maybe you can make a deal on them i don't know all right later. i'm in just one of the rooms upstairs here look at all this stuff there's a lot of clearance stuff up here and they have lots of like metal furniture look right there on that wall i love that old wood screen door it's got like chicken wire put on it and it's affordable that's better than a new door in my opinion far better and how much would a new door cost you get that one for 85 my 85 dash that means you'll probably be able to get that for 60 bucks that would look nice way nicer than a new door i always go for the old stuff it has more class Hmm. There's just lots of stuff to look at here. Lots of good prices too. And they have lots of good wall stuff. $65 for this. That's an old frame. That's a beautiful print in that. And that's an old print. That's not, not new junk. Huh. That's a quilted Indian picture. That's native theme. You can see the feathers. That's pretty cool. It's a quilt piece. And you ladies that do quilts, that'd be a nice piece to work into one of your quilts you're making. That's pretty cool. An Indian themed quilt would be pretty nice. Wow, that's pretty nice. Anything firefighter related is 195. It's pretty collectible. That'd look nice in a room of a fireman that had vintage helmets all around it. Imagine helmets on both sides of it, old leather helmets like the one that's on that. That'd look great. <clears throat> see, look at all the beautiful doors. Huh. And see, you're looking right out this door right down onto the eatery. You can get Coleman fish sandwiches over there in that place and stuff, like when I showed you when I come in. But I'm going to get downstairs. I'm going to get a couple things, and we'll do a giveaway on this because I appreciate you watching. I'm not going to get nothing for myself. I'm just going to get something for you guys for watching my video, and that's how we're going to do it. That's cool. Later. See right there's two brown Coca-Cola bottles. Straight-sided cakes right there. See if you can see what they say. I can't tell how much they are. I think it's $55 that one. And there's a Flackus Brothers fruit, fruit jar. $45, that's pretty nice. There's a lot of stuff I missed. I have to look at these cases twice because something grabs my attention. I'll get a few things. I'm going to try to get a few smalls I can put in a flat rate box. Maybe in giveaway. So, later. They have nice milks here that are affordably priced. I might, that one, that Cloverdale I'd buy, but it has a little bit of case wear. And I want to give away the best of the best. Universal store bottle. That don't have a town name on it, but some of these do. Meadowcrest, Bridgeport, Ohio. That's 30. This one right here is nice. Look at these other ones. There's a Meadowcrest, another one. That's not common. I've never even seen a breaking one of them. In the dumps I dig, and I dig clay to that place. Look at this. Steuben, Steubenville Pure Milk Company. That's pretty nice. $22. Oh, look. These are good prices. That's a real good price on that milk. Later. I've never seen this bottle either before. It says the Acorn Liquor Company, Bridgeport, Ohio. That's pretty nice. I think it's $35. Yeah. That's pretty cool there. You want to be real careful with this stuff when you're putting it back. That bottle's really thin glass and it will bust. So when you're handling this stuff in these stores, treat it like your own. Always. And this is an excellent price. $13. It's got real nice color. That's a beautiful jar for $13. With a new lid on it. New old lid. Nice. Lay that. Well, this is the bottle I'm buying. It's got a big, like, applied top on it. 
It's got that round bottom and it says Dublin Belfast on it. That is awesome. That has to be like 1890s or before. Look at that crude, drippy. That is very cool. We're going to buy that and I'm going to go buy a metal figure too and this will be what to give away. I really like this. Look at that. It's just something that's so unique. Later. Every place I walk by, there's more bottles. There's another one of them, Rose Wheeling, West Virginia, and I think that one's a little bit different. Hutches with the original stopper in it. That one's cheaper. I think it's like 60 bucks. Later. All right, here's what I got right here in that antique store for myself. Got the bottle to give away, and I got one of these, this metal cowboy to go with my Indians up here. I just bought all these plastic ones in another antique store and twin diggers a youtube channel sent me a bunch of these ones back in here and i just absolutely love them guys they sent me like a thing in these little cowboys here so what i'm trying to do is just you see they sent me that when i bought this metal one today these are plastic one with bases but they're really cool i love this kind of stuff you can see i do there's a bunch of marks ones down there i love the indians and cowboys i had them when i was a kid you see, there's some very unique ones here. Look at that guy. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's what I got for myself. That cowboy was 10 bucks. I thought it was nice. They had other ones too. I love that kind of stuff. These look good framed up in Riker mounts too. You see some of the stuff. I bought that big blue Indian in that antique store at Marietta. But you can see here. There's some stuff in here too. I got lots of cool bottles in here. There's Indians back here. There's that pig bank I dug well anyway thanks for watching